The bamboo market size is estimated at $60 billion. This amazing product is headed to a compound annual growth rate never seen before. Bamboo, a versatile and fascinating plant, is cultivated in various regions around the world. The region where most bamboo is grown worldwide for commercial purposes lies in Southeast Asia. This plant plays a significant role in these regions, serving as a valuable resource for building materials, food, and various other applications. Originating in Asia, Africa, and South America over 7,000 years ago, it has been utilized by diverse cultures as building material and for an array of other practical applications, reflecting its widespread availability and versatility. Bamboo's journey highlights its remarkable adaptability and enduring appeal. Planting bamboo starts by growing new shoots from rhizomes, which are underground stems with buds. The soil needs to drain well and hold moisture for bamboo to thrive. Depending on the type of bamboo, plants are spaced differently, some close together, others farther apart. Bamboo prefers lots of sunlight, although some types can tolerate a bit of shade. During harvesting, mature stems are selectively cut in the dry season to prevent rotting. Clean cuts are made above the nodal swell to aid drainage. Some bamboo species can regrow after cutting, known as coppicing. Harvesting tools like machetes and pruning shears are used. Bamboo is versatile, used in construction and textiles, and its quick regrowth and minimal impact on the environment make it valuable. When considering bamboo's use in construction, concerns often arise regarding its sensitivity to moisture and long-term durability. Unlike industrial materials, bamboo may not consistently perform over time. To address these concerns, bamboo production companies employ various treatment methods aimed at enhancing its durability and mechanical strength while customizing treatments to specific needs. Treatment processes focus on improving moisture resistance to prevent issues like swelling, warping, and decay. Additionally, treatments provide protection against insect infestations, enhancing the natural durability of bamboo. By customizing treatment conditions such as temperature and duration, companies can balance effectiveness and cost, ensuring high-quality bamboo products for construction purposes. After treatment and drying, the bamboo is often processed using specialized machinery designed to split it into multiple strips or slats. These devices typically feature a series of circular blades arranged in a row. When a bamboo pole is pushed through these blades, they cleanly slice the bamboo, transforming it into uniform strips of the desired thickness. These bamboo strips are ready to be joined in various ways to create different types of products.
Producing bamboo strips on a large scale for various products involves a meticulously orchestrated process employing specialized machinery. The stems undergo separation into strips through a bamboo dissection machine, carefully segmenting them for further processing. To maintain consistency in width and thickness, a fixed width slicer is employed, refining the strips and removing any imperfections. The bamboo filament forming machine further refines these strips into thinner shapes suitable for ice cream sticks and different types of utensils. Following this, the bamboo stick size setting machine ensures adherence to the required dimensions, a crucial step for achieving uniformity in the final product. To create pointed ends, the bamboo stick sharpening machine is utilized while the blade sharpening machine ensures the optimal condition of the equipment throughout the process. This well-coordinated production line comprising various machines can yield around 400,000 sticks within an eight-hour shift. Bamboo straws are a wonderful eco-friendly alternative to plastic straws, offering a sustainable solution to single-use plastic waste. The process of crafting bamboo straws begins with selecting bamboo trunks with a natural diameter of 7 to 13 millimeters and an age of 2 to 3 years, ensuring the ideal raw material for making straws. Mozo bamboo, known for its exceptional strength and sustainability, is commonly chosen for this purpose. The bamboo is carefully harvested and cut into long poles, which are then cleaned and polished to remove any rough edges. Subsequently, the poles are split into smaller sections, and the hollow center of each section is meticulously drilled out to create the straw, ensuring a smooth interior surface. These straws retain the natural aroma of the bamboo and have a smooth, natural outer shell with the golden color characteristic of bamboo trunks. The process of crafting bamboo cutlery on a large scale is streamlined and automated with automatic machinery overseeing the entire production process. Initially, bamboo combs are carefully cut into smaller sections by these machines, each destined to become a spoon, fork, or knife. While the machinery shapes these sections into the desired utensil forms with precision and efficiency, skilled artisans or carpenters oversee the process, ensuring quality control and making any necessary adjustments. The cutlery undergoes automated sanding to ensure a smooth surface, eliminating any rough edges or splinters that may detract from the user experience. 
an automated polishing process ensues, granting the bamboo utensils a natural sheen that enhances their visual allure. Bamboo knot skewers are versatile utensils commonly used for grilling, serving appetizers, or even crafting. Workers start by splitting bamboo into thin strips using specialized tools. They are shaped and shaved down on one end to create a flexible tip. Craftsmen skillfully curl or knot the shaved end to form a convenient handle, providing users with a comfortable grip. The shaped skewers undergo a natural drying process to ensure sturdiness and prevent splintering during use. The skewers are bundled and packaged for distribution to restaurants, catering services, or retail stores. In the large-scale production of bamboo toothbrushes, modern automatic high-tech machinery plays a crucial role in streamlining the manufacturing process. While the majority of handles are machine-made for consistency and efficiency, a portion of them can also be handcrafted to cater to specific preferences or specialized designs. In bigger production lines, bamboo pieces are transported to CNC-type machines programmed to precisely cut them into tiny toothbrush sizes, forming the characteristic round shape of the handle. These machines operate continuously, ensuring stability and high production efficiency, with one worker overseeing multiple machines simultaneously. An automatic hole drilling machine is then utilized to create holes in the toothbrush handles, with the capability to drill holes in multiple handles at once. Once drilled, the toothbrush handles move to the next stage where bristle holes are punched into them, using a specialized punching machine. These holes serve as receptacles for the toothbrush bristles. Subsequently, bristles are meticulously inserted into the holes and the toothbrush heads undergo shaping, polishing and rigorous quality checks. For the production of bamboo flooring, walls, and decorative materials, bamboo strips undergo treatment to remove nutrients, sugars, and insects, followed by conditioning and acclimatization to reach the optimal humidity level. After a resting period to stabilize, the slats undergo cutting to achieve the desired length. For bamboo flooring, strips undergo carbonization to darken the color and then assembled into slats with three crisscrossed layers bonded together using hydraulic pressing, forming a sturdy structure with characteristic bamboo nodes. Similar processes apply to create bamboo panels for walls and decorative elements involving cutting, treating, bonding, and additional treatments like staining or painting for decorative purposes. These processes ensure that bamboo construction materials meet high standards of uniformity, strength, and aesthetics, offering sustainable and attractive options for construction projects. Male-female interlocking is generated on all four sides for easy installation 
and the surface is treated with a parquet wax. To learn more about another fascinating production line, watch our next video on Himalayan pink salt production.